Hi there, my name is Bal and I am the marketing brand manager here at City and Islington College. So I'm really excited to welcome you all today to today's event, which is focusing on the home educational hub program we run here at the college. So the event today will focus on um, explaining um, to learners or uh, young students who have been homeschooled and now are looking to come into a college environment to take further their studies. So before we uh, begin the actual event, I'm just going to explain briefly uh, the format for today so you know what uh, will follow. So over the next hour, um, I will introduce each presenter um, who are experts in running this program at the college. And um, as they talk on screen to you in their specific area or about their specific area, I should say, um, you will have the option of um, posting any questions they uh, you may have on the talk topics they're talking about. So you can post those questions on the right hand side of your screen in the chat in the online chat facility. Um, my team here will actually moderate these questions in the background, so we may not necessarily publish all those questions. However, some of them will be answered, but we will make sure that we answer those questions maybe at the end of the event. So please do um, leave your contact details so that we can actually um, talk to you once the event finishes. So you can also see the uh, schedule for today's event. So if you're not able to stay for the whole duration of the hour, um, you can actually nip in and out of the event. And um, we will also have a recording available online once the um, event finishes that will be put up on the college website. So just briefly a bit about the college. Um, we are part of a wider group called the Capital City College Group. And that comprises of three unique colleges, that being City and Islington College, Westminster Kingsway College and the College of North East London. Um, we also have a training arm, the Capital City College Training, who provide apprenticeships to learners. Um, and across the group, we have 24,000 students. We have 1,700 members of staff. And we have 11 sites across London. So a learner coming into the organisation has ample and vast opportunities in the courses we offer, um, the courses we offer in higher education, apprenticeships and a whole array of different employers we work with. So I'm going to now hand you over to Despina Mavru, who is an expert in this programme and she's actually a tutor. So hi Despina. Thanks, Belle. Hi, um, I'm Despina. I'm the tutor for the Home Education Programme. Um, so the Home Education Hub is a two year programme. Um, we started running it last year, so this is our we're going into our second year of the programme. Um, students that would enrol this year in September will be uh, starting in year 10 and they will be completing their GCSEs in uh, June 2022. And the purpose of the programme is to reintroduce home educated young people in, back into formal education. And it's um, we put a lot of focus in creating a pathway for them so they can join the college, make sure that they are prepared for the next step, whether that's going into A levels or another uh, level three programme. Um, and uh, so the program is made up of GCSEs in English, maths, history and combined science, which is uh, a double GCSE, counts as two GCSEs. Uh, they're all taught by high quality subject experts. And there's also a tutorial program, which uh, is my, my main responsibility. The students are in college for approximately 14 hours a week. 
uh, and they are currently there in Tuesdays and Thursdays. So um, the kind of support that we have in place uh, is, first of all, myself, the progress tutor, which um, my role is to support the students through their course, to monitor their progress, ensure that they are supported across the college, uh, as well as deliver a rich tutorial programme, which is based on um, developing their academic skills and preparing them for further study. Uh, they also receive additional support as they need to uh, from the inclusive learning team, for example, assessing students for additional learning needs. So communication, a big part of the program and what makes it successful is uh, an open line of communication between the parents and the tutor. So there are regular emails to parents that, that we have a dedicated hub mobile, which enables the parents to contact me directly. Uh, so, for example, if they need to report absences, but also to discuss any other issues that might uh, might arise. So um, just a few words, obviously, this is not um, normal circumstances. So we we have been operating uh, distance learning, um, online teaching since March, uh, and we are continuing to do so. And the way that we have been doing this has been uh, through online teaching. So we have a variety of platforms, Microsoft Teams that we are using for this live event. We uh, also use Google Classroom and a variety of other subject specific online tools. Uh, we continue to follow a timetable. Students attend their lessons on time, virtually, um, and we also hold, uh, I've, I've been holding as the tutor, one-to-one -one, uh, progress review meetings uh, through Google Meet. So we make sure that the students are supported through this time um, as much as they would be if we were in the building, but also looking at other challenges that they're facing uh, through having to lock down, um, etc. Um, in terms of our expectations, we have high expectations of the students and, and the students also reciprocate that high expectation. We um, we are part of the, as the hub, we are part of the, the college. We have access to the college facilities at the Angel Campus, so the Sixth Form Centre and the Centre for Applied Science, um, which make up the, the Angel Campus. Um, we have high standards of attendance and work completion. We expect the students to attend 100% and we expect them to complete all their work set by their teachers. Um, and this is a key part in preparing them for the next step in their education uh, once they finish their GCSEs. So in terms of what we expect the students to uh, engage with, the, the programme is a full programme. The Home Education Hub course is a five GCSE program and there is no option for them to dip in and out of uh, subjects. We expect students to start on the full program and follow it through to exam. Um, the, the teachers plan their lessons very carefully and design them to complement home study. Because it is uh, only two days a week, it's a program that is designed to work alongside home education and so students are expected to spend a substantial amount of their time outside of college studying, revising and preparing for their lessons. Thank you, Despina. That's great. That's really informative. Um, I have a question here from um, someone in the audience and they're saying, can you confirm if this is for just the homeschool children and not for school referral? Is there a difference? Can you just, would you know? Yes, this is this is for a home educated student. So it's for elective home educated students. Um, we, uh, we, we are set up for as a facility 
to reintroduce students who have been homeschooled electively. Uh, unfortunately, we don't cater for uh, students that might have specific uh, needs that have led them to be excluded. Um, so if you know, if you're not sure, I would definitely encourage you to send us specific uh, information and we can discuss it. OK, so we can maybe con get them to contact you by the um, email address that's dedicated to the Home um, Educational Hub programme and then you could actually respond to that. Yeah, and I will provide that email towards the end of this event. Thank you so much to Spina, that was great. So over now to Dominic, who will actually talk about the college itself and a bit more about the programme. Hi, Dominic. Good afternoon, uh, Bal, uh, and thank you for uh, that. Hi so uh, yes, my name is Dominic Eady. I'm uh, one of the deputy directors at the Sixth Form College at City Nislington Angel Campus. So just a little bit about um, City Nislington uh, College. Um, it's part of uh, the largest college group in London, Capital City College Group. And the home education hub itself, which we're uh, talking about right now, is uh, delivered within uh, City Nisleton College, uh, Sixth Form College, which is located at the Angel Campus, just around the corner from Angel Tube Station. Now, our teachers on the home education hub program are therefore mainly teaching on our A-level programmes which is a great advantage in that they can assist with the smooth transition to further study, uh, certainly within City and Islington College. OK, could be A-levels, but we have obviously a very large college that offers other types of course as well. What I'm going to talk about uh, primarily are uh, the facilities. Um, now, for home educated uh, students uh, at the moment, of course, under COVID-19, there's an awful lot of home educated students. But uh, should we be fortunate enough to get back into the site, some of the things that we uh, can provide obviously will really enrich uh, students experience of uh, home education. Uh, and so uh, we are primarily, uh, as I said, an A-level centre, uh, but there are a number of facilities which should be of benefit uh, to those who are home educated, such as science labs, library and the careers centre. And they're the three I'm going to uh, focus on. So regarding our science labs, now one of the reasons I wanted to start with uh, these is that we, you know, uh, two fifths of the programme is the combined science GCSE. Um, now, if you are home educated, access to the equipment and the chemicals and the opportunity to take part in practical experiments is obviously uh, you know, going to be greatly enhanced by access to a, a large science lab. So the fact we're operating uh, within a centre which does uh, A-levels uh, and other further education courses, um, it's great that we have uh, these labs on hand. And our, our science classes you know, take place in, in modern, well-equipped labs, and that enables uh, our GCSE combined students on the home education programme to participate in the full range of scientific activities. We also obviously have a, a large college library. It's very well stocked, books and journals, um, but also it has a lot of uh, open access IT space. So although the timetable doesn't have uh, a huge amount of time within the day, nevertheless, our home education students uh, do like to use the, the open access IT uh, between classes. Some come in before lessons, which start at nine, and they're in there at half past eight sometimes. Uh, I've seen them in there. And so uh, they do like to uh, make use of that facility too. Students are able to borrow uh, texts as well, just like our uh, A-level students uh, from the library. And so relevant course materials, particularly textbooks, are available there uh, as well to our home education students. The other thing uh, which I think our students will benefit from is that City Nislington uh, College, uh, the Angel site, has a very, very good uh, careers service. 
Um, we, we have a dedicated career suite. You can see in the picture there, there's a nice meeting uh, going on. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we think that the home education students will take um, great benefit from being able to use um, their uh, provision, especially when thinking about moving on to other courses. Now, many of our uh, home education students are looking towards A-levels, not all, but many, and certainly with our experience careers team uh, on hand, on site, uh, they can get some really good advice about uh, making applications and which courses would help propel them to uh, future uh, university courses possibly or other careers. So that's uh, all I want to say about um, the provision uh, in terms of the facilities. Uh, back to Bal. Thank you, Dominic. Thank you very much for that. Um, I've got a question um, from Karina in the audience for you, and she's asking um, when can her son start and how? I, th I think the next uh, uh, part of the presentation is going to be about uh, applications. Okay. Uh, the courses start in September uh, right. as the academic year starts. Uh, and so I might leave some of those details to Brian. And if it's not answered, come back to me. I will do. OK, that's okay. fine. I'll come back to that. Thank you very much, Dominic. That's great. So over to Brian now. Hi, Brian. Hi, Bao. Thank you very much. Um, hopefully I can answer some of those questions uh, for you this afternoon. Uh, my name is Brian Johnson. I'm the other deputy director at the Angel Campus uh, for City and Islington College. Uh, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about the admissions and application process for the Home Education Hub. Uh, the first stage uh, is the expression of interest form. Now, to be involved in this event today, everybody in the audience will have completed that, uh, letting us know that you're interested in the Home Education Hub programme. Uh, secondly, uh, we have today's information event. Uh, again, uh, us inviting you all in, those interested in the programme, to learn a little bit more uh, about what we have to offer. Um, I'm very excited today to uh, announce and launch really uh, the application form for the Home Education Hub, which I'm going to talk through in a little bit more detail in a moment. Uh, but the next stage after today's information event is to submit that application form. Uh, the fourth step uh, is uh, inviting our applicants in for interview uh, and for some pre-assessments, uh, just to make sure that all of our applicants are suitable uh, for the programme that we have on offer uh, for students here at uh, City and Islington Angel Campus. Uh, so I want to take a little bit of a step backwards, if that's OK, and focus on the application form, uh, as I said, which we are going to be launching uh, to those that are interested in the programme today. Uh, and we will be sending this out to those uh, people that are interested, those applicants that are interested after today's meeting. Uh, so our application form uh, looks a little bit like this. Uh, it is an interactive PDF uh, that you can complete and send back to us. If I just go through some of the sections of the information that you'll be asked to, to supply us with, uh, we obviously ask for some kind of personal information, some details on the applicant that wishes to come and study with us. And we also ask for the courses that you are interested in coming uh, to study with us in the Home Ed Hub. As Despina said earlier on, uh, the programme uh, does involve the, those five GCSE qualifications uh, that we discussed. So you would need to tick all of those. Uh, you know, the combined science obviously counting as two there. We're also really keen uh, to find out the support needs, the individual support needs of the young people wishing to come and study with us. Uh, and that's section three of the application form, uh, just to make sure that those that do come and study with us in September, uh, we know all the individual needs and we can do our best to support you when you arrive uh, at the campus. Uh, sections four through to uh, six are some questions on diversity for us to kind of monitor and again understand your individual circumstance and your backgrounds to make sure that we can uh, support those that come to study with us. Section seven, uh, we're interested in any GCSEs that may have already been achieved. So we obviously acknowledge that those interested in the programme are homeschooled, uh, but we do uh, uh, acknowledge uh, that some GCSEs may have already been completed externally and it's good for us to know. So we're really keen to catch that information. There's also an opportunity uh, for applicants uh, to write a small personal statement uh, for us. And that's an opportunity for us as, as an institution to learn a little bit more about the applicants that wish to come and study with us. 
Uh, and we're really keen to know your interests uh, in the subjects uh, that you're studying, but also what you think that you might want to go on and study uh, after GCSE. Uh, as Dominic and Despina have already said, uh, City and Islington is, is a large college and we operate within an even larger college group. Uh, so there's lots of opportunities uh, for our GCSE students to progress and stay with us uh, throughout their, their level three education. Um, the application form itself, which we will send to you today following the meeting, our provisional deadline for that uh, is the end of this month. So 30th of June, uh, we would ask for that to be sent back uh, to be reviewed and for us to kickstart the next stage of the application process. Bow. Are we okay, Brian? Yes, yeah, sorry, Belle, I was handing back to you. I'm so sorry, I didn't actually hear that. I apologise, sincere apologies. Sorry, Brian. Um, yeah, thank you very much for that. I've actually had a couple of um, questions through. So, uh, so someone in the audience is asking, how many classes will there be and what's the maximum number of students in the class? Are you, is anyone able to answer that? Yeah, I'm happy to answer that. Currently, we have one class for year 10 and one class for year 11. Uh, and I believe our numbers at the moment operate a maximum of 18 students per class. OK, that's fine. Thank you. Um, so we have um, a parent here who's concerned that um, what it is, their son has um, dyspraxia or uh, and dyslexia. Um, and they were, they're asking, is there an entry level to the college and do you have access to SEN? Again, I'm happy to pick up their bow, thanks. Um, I think one of the things, you know, Dominic was talking about the fantastic facilities we have at Angel Campus. Uh, and one of those that we didn't uh, kind of highlight today, but is really important, is our inclusive learning team. We have a team uh, of uh, support staff headed up by an inclusive learning manager. Uh, that will work with all of our A-level students, but also our GCSE students. So I, I mentioned uh, our pre-assessments as part of the application process and the admissions process for the Home Education Hub, and our inclusive learning manager will be heavily involved uh, in that process. Uh, and last year and our plans for this year include uh, a one-to-one -one meeting as part of the um, interview process with the inclusive learning manager uh, to fully understand the needs of the students that wish to come and study uh, with us uh, and make sure that we can uh, accommodate those uh, and you know we absolutely can and we do our best to support students that come uh, to study with us uh, but it's it's a good kind of mechanism to reassure uh, parents and carers as well uh, that we're able to do that and to support students that come to study with us. Sure, that's great. And should they make um, that make the team like the team at um, the college make them aware before applying? So at the point of registering their interest, or how at what time? You know, when does that information get divulged? The application form uh, contains lots of um, places for us to capture that information. So what I would say is for parents and carers to be you know, 100% honest with all the information. Uh, well, I mean, give us as much information as possible, really, so that we can support uh, the young people uh, to come and study with us. So any support students might have had, had they been in school at any point or in primary school or any support needs that you're aware of, kind of home educating. Um, and then our inclusive learning team will pick that up and they will be available during the interview process to have those uh, specialised one to one conversations, really, uh, to find out a little bit more. Uh, and as I say, you know, our goal here, our aim is to make sure that we are fully supporting the young people that come to study with us when they find themselves uh, in the classroom. Sure, thank you. And um, I know we touched on um, virtual learning, but Moving forward, how will learning take place at the college? Um, are you able to give us any insight into that? Uh, Bell? <laughs> Hello. Um, yes, uh, we use, um, as uh, Despina mentioned, uh, particular platforms within the college. Right. Um, we're using Teams right now, which is really good for live events, 
but for setting work and tracking work and collecting work and for um, sharing, if you like, academic activity, uh, Google Classroom is also used by the team. Um, and within Google Classroom, you also have Google Meets, which can pretty much do this function as well. We are imagining uh, that uh, lockdown will continue so that those platforms will be uh, going on in the autumn as well. Um, and we shall obviously wait for further guidance uh, from uh, the government chiefly as to as and when we can get back into the building. It would be wonderful to think we could have face to face contact uh, as soon as possible, but obviously we have to wait for, for guidance on that. Sure. Thank you very much, Dominic. That's okay. great. OK, so I think that's it for today's event and uh, I'd like to thank everyone in the team. It's been really informative and we've had a lot of people engaging on the chat facility and uh, we will actually be responding to every question. And I just want to reinforce those people that are watching, please do leave your personal email so that we can contact you and um, just make sure that you get all the relevant information. Um, if for some reason you don't hear from us, please email the home education hub at candy.ac.uk and um, we'll get back to you on that. Thank you very much. Okay.